Oreo cookies are loved by each and everyone, from a young child to an adult. And we just cannot stop ourselves from finishing up a whole pack of cookies once it is opened. So in this video, we'll be making an Oreo cake. This cake is packed with Oreo cookie flavor in the best way possible. In this cake, we'll add crushed Oreos to the sponge batter and layer it with Oreo buttercream. And the whole cake will be topped with chocolate drip that just takes everything to another level. Hey guys, I'm Chef Aruna from Chukful Nation Baking Academy, where we help aspiring bakers just like you to become professional bakers and start your own successful business. Let's start by making the eggless sponge. This is a very versatile sponge that has a beautiful buttery flavor and a compact crumb making it perfect for any cake. For this, I have taken a large bowl in which I'm going to sieve all-purpose flour also known as maida. Then we'll add baking powder, then baking soda and some salt. By sieving the ingredients, we are simply removing any unwanted lumps. Also, this helps with even distribution of rising agents. Moving forward, we are going to keep this aside and start by pouring some apple cider vinegar to the milk. This is a quick way of making buttermilk at home. Now some of you might be wondering if you can use synthetic vinegar instead of apple cider vinegar. Well, the answer is no because we are going to use this buttermilk for baking and we don't want it to be too punchy as that can affect the fragrance and flavor of the cake. We'll now keep this mixture aside and it will take 4 to 5 minutes for the milk to turn into buttermilk. Meanwhile, in a new bowl, we'll cream unsalted butter. Now we'll add sugar. Now we'll beat it until it's light and fluffy. When we cream butter and sugar, it adds air to the batter, which helps in rising of the cake. So, as you can see, our butter and sugar mixture is pale and fluffy, which means that the creaming is done. Now we'll add curd and vanilla essence to this and give it a mix. So our base for the cake batter is ready. Now we'll add dry ingredients and wet ingredients alternatively. And then combine everything until we get the smooth batter. As we are making an Oreo cake, our last ingredient has to be the star ingredients that is some roughly crushed Oreos. Here, we are using Oreos because we are making Oreo cake. But if you can, you can also make Biscoff or Kit Kat cake. Our batter is finally ready. It's time to prepare our baking tins. We have two 6-inch round tin. We are going to brush some soft and unsalted butter all over the tin. Then we'll place a round piece of butter paper at the bottom. Now let's divide the batter equally between these two tins. Our batter is ready to go into the oven. We'll be baking this at 180 degrees Celsius for about 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the sponge comes out clean. Before we get back to the recipe, let me tell you about our upcoming online 4-day Christmas baking workshop. This is one of the most awaited online courses in which we are going to teach you 4 amazing Christmas special eggless recipe. And I can assure you both your families and customers will love you for them. 
So simply click on the registration link available in the description area below and enroll for the course today. Let's start by making the Oreo buttercream for the cake. For this, we'll start by sieving icing sugar in a small bowl then add milk to it. Adding milk to the sugar gives a smooth grainy free buttercream. I'm going to keep this aside and start beating the butter in a new bowl. Here, I'm using soft unsalted butter. In this, we'll add the milk and icing sugar mixture while continuously beating the butter. So our super silky and smooth buttercream is ready and to make this buttercream even more delicious, we'll add some fine crumbs of Oreos. With this, our Oreo buttercream frosting is ready. But before we move forward to the assembly of the cake, if you are new to our channel, make sure that you are subscribed and have clicked the bell icon to stay updated with our new recipe. So here we have all the elements ready for the assembly. We have our eggless vanilla Oreo sponge which has completely cooled down. Next we have our Oreo buttercream which I have already transferred in a piping bag. Some crushed Oreos that we'll be using in the layering of the cake. So let's begin with the assembly. We'll first demold our sponge from the tin. Now, using a cake leveler, we'll divide the sponges into two parts. Now we'll start the layering of the cake. Now to start the assembly, we'll pipe some buttercream on the base. We are doing this so that the cake sticks in one place and doesn't move. We'll now place the first layer of sponge. We'll soak it with soaking syrup which I made by simply mixing vanilla essence in water. Pipe some frosting on the sponge and spread it using a bent pellet knife. We'll place some crushed Oreos on top. Place the second layer and repeat the steps followed by the rest of the layers. Next, we'll pipe a thin layer of frosting on top and the sides of the cake for crumb coating. Smoothen out the top using a pellet knife and sides using a metal scraper. Freeze the crumb coated cake for 15 to 20 minutes or until it sets. As our cake is in the fridge, we'll now make the chocolate drip for the cake. For this, we are going to use dark coverture and melt it.
In this, we'll add warm cream. The ratio of warm cream and chocolate would be 1 is to 1. This means if you use 30 grams of chocolate, then you have to add 30 grams of cream as well. Our drip is ready. Now we'll move on to the final frosting of the cake. Our cake is out of the fridge. Now for the final coating, we'll pipe a thick layer of frosting and smooth it out. Now using a palette knife, we'll smooth it out. Now using a metal scraper, we'll remove the excess frosting. We'll keep this in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes again. The cake is out of the fridge. Next, we'll pipe some chocolate on top and the sides to give the drip effect. We'll also pipe some dollops of buttercream on top. We'll also use some chocolate balls and chocolate vermicelli for garnishing. Here you go, the Oreo cake is ready to serve. I hope you guys like this recipe and do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon every time we post a new recipe.